Hey guys, David King here. So today I want to show you uh, a neat little effect that I've come up with that I'm calling domino animations or a domino sequence. And so as usual, I'm going to show you what I'm talking about, walk through the code, and all the sources are available on GitHub. So let's have a look at the effect. Um, you can see here when I'm transitioned to this page, each of those widgets on the widget tree is animating interview in sequence. And so that's really what I mean by the uh, this sort of domino effect. Uh, each is sort of cascading down like a like a sort of domino run. Um, I've got a couple of other views on this page just to demonstrate how this works. Uh, the first one is just this list of text items that appear, and the second one is the same, or is it? So let's just have a look at the code, and we'll see what this is all about. So that first page, which is the list of text, you can see here. I have a custom widget called delayed reveal, and I'm passing in a delay with a duration. So as you can see, uh, these durations are incrementing uh, for each of the widgets in this list. So 150, 300, 450, 600, etc. And so that gives us uh, this, this effect here, where they're appearing in view. Um, I've got a bit of a funny animation on there, and I'll show you that shortly. So the next page, which looks the same, uh, this one here is actually quite different. So this one is delayed reveal. I'm passing in the delay in the child. This one is called domino reveal. And as you can see, I'm not passing in a delay. I'm just passing in that child object. So let's have a look at those two custom widgets. The first one is going to be pretty straightforward. This delayed reveal. Uh, I pass in the widget child and a duration delay. I've got a timer running which basically waits for that duration and then starts an animation controller. And I, on, on this, I can have um, any, any sort of uh, animation curve. And then I have an animated builder here with opacity and translation. So it just slides into view and animates at the same time uh, to give us uh, the effect that we, that we see here, whoosh. So that's pretty straightforward, but obviously, Manually setting these durations is a bit of a pain. So then we have the second widget called Domino Reveal. And this one, as you can see, returns a delayed reveal with a delay. And so here, um, I just have a global function called get delay, and that returns an incremental duration over time. And then it just sort of resets if uh, nothing in the widget tree is asking for a new duration. So uh, the difference between those two pages uh, is pretty like visually there's no difference but as a consumer of uh, of these widgets is quite drastic in one on one hand uh, we're manually you know setting these delays and it's really annoying um, in the next one we can just throw together a sequence of domino reveal widgets and each one's going to request its own uh, delay and so if you think about uh, this list Obviously, these are being rendered in sequence, so it makes sense that they, they occur in that order. But then if you look at this one, the more fancy uh, view, um, let's have a look at that. So here I've just got uh, lots of domino reveals. So I'll just keep that highlighted. So I've got the logo, Flutter logo. I have card, which contains text, more text, and a bunch of icons. And really, it's the widget rendering order of Flutter that is dictating the order that these are animating in. And it just so happens that the sequence order here is quite cool. Um, so uh, that's the effect. I think you can just sprinkle that onto uh, pretty much any Flutter app just to jazz it up. Obviously, it's not the uh, granddaddy of animations, but it's better than nothing. And so I think it's actually a really nice starting point. And it will get you going. It'll get you thinking about how to use um, widgets to sort of build other widgets and use animation controllers. So, you know, you can change the curve. You can change the duration. Uh, there's a lot you can do with this uh, that will get you quite far. And um, as usual, I've got the sources on GitHub. Uh, it's github.com slash udavid slash flutterby. Uh, the link will be in the description below. I've got a few more animation videos to do on Flutter, and so they'll be coming up next. I've had a, also had quite a few people asking me to talk about block pattern and even uh, purchases within Flutter. So we'll see how they sit in my schedule. 
But certainly we've got some more animation stuff coming up. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe. And if you can, get over onto GitHub and start that repo because I'm pushing all of my code for these videos into the same mono repo. Uh, so it's quite a useful resource, or certainly it will become quite a useful resource uh, for just finding little code widgets and snippets. Uh, so I hope you're having a fantastic day, and I will catch you all later. Toodaloo.